<laughs> Hope you have a wonderful day from Rob. Oh, that's nice. Huh. <laughs> All right. What is going on here? Oh, Rob. Kidding me? Worst. Rob! So, we're back. After a little bit of a hiatus and an AVC, we're back with another Friday new product post. We've got a couple interesting things this week, so let's get right to it. Here we've got a heavy duty solenoid. A solenoid is basically a motorized plunger. What you do is you hook this up to a voltage, apply voltage, and the plunger will spit out like that and then with the spring, return back to the normal position. Um, this is traditionally used in something like a pinball machine, but you can also use these to activate levers or push things out of the way, all sorts of different mechanical applications. This particular solenoid operates at 36 volts, although as we're gonna show from a demo, you can easily operate anywhere from five to 36 volts. The amount of force will just vary depending on how much voltage you give it. It's got this really heavy duty, steel body and it's got four tapped holes in either side so it's really easy to mount to. So let's hook this up and see what it does. So here we've got a little setup to test the solenoid. We've got a benchtop power supply that can provide up to about 38 volts. We've got that plugged in through a switch, plugged directly into the solenoid, and then we've got a force sensitive resistor at the end of the plunger. So when the plunger activates it's going to hit that resistor and give us a value that is read into an Arduino and then displayed on LCD screen as the analog value, which would be zero to 1023. So let's dial this in at about five volts and see what the lower limit threshold of this solenoid looks like. So when we activate it there, you saw that it just barely pushes out and it really doesn't provide much force at all. It's registering about 550 on the force gauge. If we crank this up to about 12 volts, you can see a pretty big difference. So you can see it has a much more authoritative thud against the panel, and we're reading about 830, which is a lot better. However, if we crank this up to max, you can see that this solenoid has quite a bit of force behind it. So right now we're about 36, 37 volts, and it has a lot of force behind that, and we're almost maxing out the force gauge. And if we activate this and then just slowly turn down the voltage, you can see the force on the meters going down proportionally as well. And as we keep going down and then finally hit 5 volts, it will actually disengage. So, pretty nifty. This next product is something that you're all probably pretty familiar with and have used in the past, but it's a new product for us. Inside this little carrying case, we've got an assortment of zip ties. They're all beautifully colored and we've got six different varieties in here. We've got everything from these short guys up to these much longer ones. And zip ties are really useful for bundling wires together, quickly attaching things, or even playing little pranks on your coworkers. And with the little handy carrying case, you can put them all together and close it up and be good. So these should be pretty handy. Here we've got the next member of our e-textile product lineup. This is a wearable keypad. It's made of a flexible rubber silicone type material and it's got five buttons and it's got a pretty nice long cord on the end of it. We've actually terminated this cord but it comes just as bare wire. So what it's got is it's got an up, down, left, and right button as well as this enter button which is a spark fun flame and the whole thing is pretty well sealed up so it is going to be pretty much weatherproof and it's designed to be sewn into clothing, sewn into your next e-textiles project and it even has a backlight in here which is red. So let's hook this up and see what it looks like. We've just got a basic little lily pad, a battery, and some other stuff hooked up just to see what this does. Plug it in. We've got this running the example code which is available on the website and this center button turns the LED on and off and the up and down will dim the LED up and down. And of course you can use these buttons for whatever you want, program them into your Arduino or your lily pad, and you've got four selection buttons and the middle one. So hopefully this will make it into your next e-textiles project. 
So these are my top picks for this week. Hopefully some of you were able to make it out to AVC last week. If not, we've got a really good recap video with lots of footage coming real soon. So check out the rest of the products on the new product post, and we'll see you again next week. What's up, Dave? Oh man, it's been one of those days. I just want a beer. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just want a glass. That's too bad. Oh, it's the worst.